Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having an awesome Sunday morning. Uh, my name is Mr. Saul, and I teach second grade uh, Sunday school, and this here is Lindsay J. Hi, guys. I love how we can read the Bible, and it's so cool what we get to learn about God every day. Awesome. So, she's right. Today, we're going to learn about the Bible, and um, did you know that the Bible is called the Word of God because God inspired it? which means he encouraged men to write it. Uh, and in 2 Timothy 3.16, he tells us that all scripture is useful for teaching, correcting, rebuking, and training in righteousness, which basically tells us that if we read the Bible, then uh, uh, it'll help us to lead a better life. Uh, there's some really cool things uh, about the Bible, like uh, did you know that... Uh, the first scriptures were written on stone tablets, and they were written, uh, the first stone tablets, uh, we call the Ten Commandments, were written by God, and he wrote it with his finger. What do you think about that? That is kind of weird, and now we cannot write with our finger on the box. <laughs> That's right. It, uh, it would be pretty hard. Uh, but actually, Moses broke those tablets, and then, uh, so the next tablets... God told Moses to uh, make some more tablets, and then he actually told Moses to write them, uh, to write out the Ten Commandments, and that was in Exodus uh, 34, verses 27 through 28. Uh, Moses spent 40 days and 40 nights uh, carving out the Ten Commandments on uh, the two tablets. So uh, you can imagine that uh, tablets were heavy, they were really thick, uh, and uh, probably really hard to store and, you know, carry around. So um, people came up with different uh, ways of uh, writing or different things to write on, rather. Uh, for example, uh, some people wrote on animal skins or leather. Uh, others wrote in, uh, like, wet clay, and then they let it dry, and then you could read what they wrote. Uh, other people, they wrote in lead. And again, these were all you know, cool uh, ways to, to write it, but uh, really the best way was uh, on paper. And so somebody uh, invented a way to make paper. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Is we're going to make some paper. Yep, we are. All right, let's get to it. All right, kids, uh, before we get started, please make sure and get your parents help with this. Because uh, we are dealing with uh, some uh, sharp objects. So here we go. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is uh, some newspapers. Uh, you will need a bowl to put the newspaper pulp in. Uh, you're going to need a screen. Uh, and So just have uh, your parents. You can use uh, the screens uh, from your window or you can use a uh, nylon. Uh, really just anything uh, that water can pass through and uh, Let's see, you also need uh, scissors. You'll need a bowl to mix the, the newspaper in. All right, you'll need a plastic bag, and that'll be used to uh, help push the water out. You'll need uh, some mixing tools. Uh, we have these uh, egg beaters. Uh, you'll need 16 ounces of water, a tablespoon measuring spoon, You'll need some cornstarch, and uh, you can use a blender or a mixer to mix up the, um, the newspaper. All right, so we'll get started. All right, so the first thing you'll want to do is shred a couple of sheets of newspaper into small strips. Once you have shredded a uh, uh, the sheets then you can just cut them up or tear them either way uh, into the bowl all right once you're done uh, cutting up your your uh, newspaper uh, you'll need to add some water uh, to cover uh, the newspaper So just enough water to that so that it covers it up. Okay. 
All right, so once you've added the water, then you go ahead and mix it up using your uh, little egg beater there, or you can use a fork if you want. But just mix it up for a little bit. And then get make sure that all the newspaper is in the water and covered in water. All right, so once you do that, now comes the hard part. You have to wait and let it sit for an hour. All right, so our next step is going to be to mix our cornstarch with our 16 ounces of water. So go ahead and grab your water. All righty. And these are uh, should be heaping tablespoons. So you take your tablespoon measuring. All right, so there's one. All right, and you can add a little bit more. There you go, that's heaping. That first one I added a little right. tiny bit more because of the first one. So go ahead and uh, mix it up. This might be a little hard, so it might take some muscle to, to mix it. Just So just keep going. And if you need some help, all right, there we go. All right, how's it look? Pretty good. That does look pretty good. All right, so up. now we'll just set this aside for now. And we will take our newspaper that has been sitting for at least an hour. And we'll just mix it up really good, make sure that it's all um, really wet, I guess. <laughs> so it looks something like that. All right, at this point, you can either take your mixer and use that, or you can do what we do, and that is use your blender. So we'll just take our blender, open her up. All right, here, let me pour it in. So just pour it into the blender. All right. All right, so once we get it all in there, you put your lid on, and what do we do now, Lindsay? We're going to make a smoothie. That's right. All righty, so once you've blended this for about 30 seconds, the next thing we're going to want to do is add our cornstarch and water mixture. Thank you. We'll just pour that in. All right, gotta make sure we get it all in there. All right. Now put our lid back on, and what are we gonna do? Make a nice smoothie. All right. All right, so after blending for about another 30 seconds or so, you can check, open, take your lid off. And this is what it should look like. All righty, so next we're going to take our mixture up and pour it into our dipping bowl. Whoa. Cool, cool. All right, so the next you're gonna take your screen and you're going to dip it into your mixture here. Just kind of go under and then just come up, slow, and then just gently tilt it to the, you know, different size just to get that extra water off of there. All right. All right, so next we'll go ahead and take our screen and lay it on a newspaper and you want to lay it on there just to soak uh, some of the excess water out then we'll take uh, we'll take our plastic bag or a Ziploc and just set it over the top and then just press down gently and again we're just trying to squeeze the water out awesome you may need to use a couple of 
different sheets of newspaper because that will get wet. Again, just press gently. Try to get as much of that excess water out. All right, so after you press it down and, and changed out your newspaper about, I don't know, three or four times, then you can pull back your plastic bag gently and slowly. You can see that it'll start to come off, so, so that's why you want to go very gently. All right, so after you've, um, you've gotten all the water out, you can set it aside and let it air dry for, for about 24 hours. But if you can't wait that long, you can ask your mom if you can borrow her hair dryer and you can air dry it using their, the blow, their hair dryer, uh, both front and the back. And you wanna make sure that you stay away two to three inches from the surface. And then, uh, like I said, about 15, uh, about 15 minutes, then you will have paper. paper. All right. And you can write on it. L. Y. N. D. Z. Y. That's how you spell my name. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining us this morning, and hopefully, you guys had fun and you learned something new about the Bible, uh, Lindsay. So, isn't it cool we can make paper and we can write on it, color on it, and maybe you can make your own book and draw on it. All right. Well, then, until next time, have a great Sunday. Bye, and good Sunday.